More outside of the box repair tips. Many repairs can be done with glue. Now there are many types of glue out there and they all have their strong points and weak points. In the repair I'm going to show you today is how to keep the strong parts of a glue and reduce the weaknesses using fillers and accelerators and by thinking outside of the box. The repair in this case seems very simple. My selfie stick that works so well has a weak point. The plastic parts don't like heat. Yet part of what I use it for involves placing it above very hot flame broilers for a short period of time, many times in a day. This resulted in part of the plastic that surrounds this metal insert broke because of the stress of the insert and the heat. Now I could put an epoxy into this and it might hold, but it might get damaged by the heat too. I wanted something that would work fast and be strong enough to prevent further damage. Super glue, also known as cyanoacrylate, that will be the last time I say that in this video, is very fast, but it doesn't like to fill large gaps. It is also very strong for tension, but needs good surface contact between the surfaces to be bonded. In thinking about this project, I remembered a trick I learned from professional model makers many years ago. Super glue can be modified with baking soda as a filler and accelerator. It retains most of its strength as well as being machinable and works faster. Great! So I stuffed baking soda into the crack, then added super glue. Done! This really did work for a while, but then I noticed that more cracks developed because of the stresses as I used it. I needed a way to hold the parts together and prevent the cracks from forming or then expanding. This is where thinking outside of the box comes in. Now, my father-in-law says I reinvent the wheel. Well, you be the judge. I've used fiberglass to strengthen many parts before, but fiberglass would be just way too thick for this. However, layers of paper can have similar properties as fiberglass with the right resin bonding it together, such as super glue. So after using the baking soda and super glue, I added a small piece of printer paper to the outside of the part using the super glue. The glue soaked into the paper quickly and it bonded to both the plastic and paper. The paper then also took on many of the properties of the glue as it cured. Then I just molded the paper around the plastic shape, using the glue to hold it in place as I formed it. In a few places, the glue saturated the paper so much that it just came through. I just simply added some baking soda to it and that cured that instantly. Now some words of caution. Super glue will instantly bond skin to anything, even itself. That bonding of skin to skin makes it a very effective wound closer for emergency first aid for things like paper cut, uh, razor blade cut, something like that. But it also means if you get any on your skin, you must remove it immediately or it will bond anything you touch, including your eyes, nose, mouth, other fingers, clothes, anything. Now protect your working surface for the same reasons. I used this aluminum foil to protect my desk while I worked on this repair. Also, since I just put the baking soda on the work surface, the aluminum foil, any drips on that aluminum foil would cure instantly, and so I wouldn't have to worry about them. Now, I like the dispensing method on this container. It's very controlled. You just squeeze those and it dispenses very gently. Now, I've had the cheaper tubes of glue break open and get all over. Now that was a real mess. So what do you think? Is this out of the box method of using super glue something you might use? If you find it useful, share it with your friends. It might solve a problem for them. Thanks for watching our video. If you like what you see, press the like button below and subscribe. And also check out our other videos.